Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be trying out some new makeup. A lot of these things I've gotten in PR recently. I have a ton of stuff from Sigma. They sent me such a generous box of goodies a few weeks ago and I'm just now getting around to trying them. This month has just been a lot so I'm very behind on trying products that I have. I have some PR and a few things that I purchased myself. So we're gonna try out a bunch of new stuff today. I am also, unfortunately, a little bit under the weather. So if my voice sounds kind of raspy, that is why I have, I think I just have a cold. My husband had it, now I have it, but the show must go on. So I refuse to let anything else this month keep me from doing what I want to do. So we're just gonna push through. I'm going to be sipping on some Terraflu throughout this video. I've been trying to calm my throat down all morning long so I could film. So hopefully it's not super annoying. If it is, I'm really sorry. But we're just going to sit and have fun, try some new makeup, which is one of my favorite things in the whole world. So let's get into it. And if you're new here, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty content here on YouTube. I hope you'll subscribe and stick around and let's get into the makeup. I really can't decide if this Terraflu tastes bad or it tastes good. Sometimes I've had it a few times. Like right now it doesn't taste too bad. Sometimes I taste it. It doesn't taste good at all. I think when it starts to get cold, it starts to taste bad, but right now it's fine. But what I wanted to show you is look at this box from Sigma. They sent me so many things. I am so grateful. I get PR here and there and I'm always so excited when I do, but I don't get a ton of PR. So when I get a box full of stuff like that, it's like just the most exciting thing ever. I can't even explain it. So Sigma, if you're watching this video, thank you so much for sending all these things. I'm just I'm so grateful. Thank you. There's so many things in here. I don't even know that I've seen everything that's in this box. They sent me a Sigma Switch Instant Shade Remover. So this, you can use an eyeshadow brush and kind of wipe off the excess shadow on here if you want to use the same brush for a bunch of different things, which is really nice. I used to have one of these a long time ago that I got from Sephora, but I don't know what happened to mine. So that will be really nice to have. And then this I'm really excited about. This is the Sigma brush cleaning mat. So it's a silicone mat that fits in the bottom of your sink. So you can wash your brushes and you have a bunch of different like textures on here, depending on what kind of brush you're using or you're cleaning. So I cannot wait to use those. And then they also sent their brush cleaner also, which I am excited to try. I've never tried that. But the first thing I wanted to test out that they did send is this. This is the Hydro Melt Lip Mask in Hush. So I love a good lip mask, so I thought we could try this before we get started. So it looks like this so satisfying to see a brand new lip mask and there's also a little spatula thing sigma has been doing so many good sales this month it is just insane to me the sales that they're running mm. Mm, that feels really good has a little bit of a scent to it but i can't can't tell what it is it's very light let's get started with the makeup i am just gonna apply a little bit of color corrector now we'll use the sigma one this um is not a new product i've had this for a while they actually sent me a new one which is really nice because i have hit major pan on this side you can also use this with your finger i'm just using a brush because um mine like i said a lot of it's gone, so it's kind of easier to get the edges with a brush than it is with your finger. And I use mainly the darker shade right here, but you do have a lighter shade here as well. I tend to use the most of the darker shade. And then I'll take like the smallest bit of the lighter one 
and I kind of focus it right here in this very inner corner. And then I'm just gonna tap this in under my eyes. I'm using the Rare Beauty concealer brush for this. It's a really good one actually for corrector under the eyes because it's pointy. Like they're not pointy, but it's kind of slanted like this and it's on the smaller side. So it really fits well underneath your eyes. Okay, for a foundation, this was sent to me so long ago. I don't, it's been months. I don't, I don't even know how long ago I got this, but I have yet to try it. It's the Yinsa Skin on Skin BC Foundation. It says a BBCC Full Coverage SPF 40. It says it has the power of eight black tea, black sesame oil, shiitake mushroom, black seaweed, chia seed, Korean black raspberry, nettle, and black rice. Formulated with eight super black essences, this multitasker delivers eight powerful benefits in one step. I have never tried anything from this brand before, so I figured we could try it. I was looking at the shade earlier, and I think this shade should be a good match for me. It looked like it at least. Kind of reminds me, or it definitely reminds me, of the It Cosmetics CC Cream. It's in like the same kind of packaging with a pump. Looks like that. This is the shade Light Neutral. It does have a little bit of a scent. Sigma also sent me a bunch of brushes here. I am gonna wash these before I use them, but um, they did send me a ton of really, really nice brushes. But I'm gonna use my BK Beauty 106 since it's clean. I just washed all my brushes. Ooh, yeah. I need to look into this brand more. I don't, I know, I forget what what other products they make. I feel like they don't make a ton of things, but I could be wrong. Let me know if you've tried anything from Yensa. All right, so here it is. This looks really pretty. This, yeah, this looks absolutely beautiful on my skin. The shade match is pretty dang close. I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that. I feel like this shade is actually a true neutral. This is what I want the It Cosmetics CC Cream to look like on me, and it doesn't. I don't have a great shade match in that product. I would say this is like a solid medium coverage now. I didn't add a ton of it. I maybe could build it up to full coverage if I added more, but We'll just use a little bit of concealer where I need it, but this is pretty. Definitely on the glowy side. I don't think it's anything too glowy, but it definitely has a good bit of radiance to it, like I'm sure you can see on my skin. But wow, that looks, that is very nice. I was not expecting that. Moving on, let's do some concealer. This is a new shade to me, but this is not a new concealer to me. I got a different shade in the House Labs concealer. If you saw my vlog video that went up a few weeks ago, I ordered this from Sephora. I have the shade 11 already, but I wanted something that's not quite as warm. Shade 11, I believe they say is light neutral, but it's very warm to me for a neutral shade. So I'm gonna use this in the shade 12 today and I feel like this is gonna be a good shade. All right, I'm gonna blend this with my FO3 from Sigma, which if you watch my videos, you know how much I love this brush. Sigma sent me another one, this right here, which I'm so excited about because I use this all the time, all the time, but I'm gonna use the one I already have open. I love this brush for concealer. It, I don't have anything that applies like this. It's because it's kind of not super dense on the end, but it's dense enough that you can kind of keep the concealer where you place it, but you can also kind of fan it out a little bit. If you're someone like me that likes to apply your concealer, but then kind of feather it 
into your face makeup, this brush does that really well. And actually it's a highlighter brush, but it works beautifully for concealer. Okay, yeah, I love that color, by the way, from that House Labs concealer. Moving on to a powder. This is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Powder. This was not PR, I bought this myself. I have been wanting to try this powder for a while, but some of the shades have been kind of hard to get your hands on for some reason. I know Martina Lily, my friend here on YouTube, she loves this powder, but she has the yellow shade. This is the neutral shade, and I'm hoping this isn't gonna be too dark. When I swatched it in store on my hand, it looks darker in the pan, but then it didn't really on the back of my hand. But anyways, I've been wanting to try this in the shade neutral, but neutral for some reason was out of stock a bunch of different places. So I finally was able to get it at Ulta. So let's try this. I've heard nothing but good things about this powder. So I am excited. Actually, I just realized I have a brush here that they sent me that I really want to try. I know I'm supposed to wash these first, but I think I'm going to break the rules because I really want to try this. This is the F12 setting brush from Sigma. And I'm just going to lightly set my whole face with this because we're going to use a powder bronzer next. I don't think actually the color is bad at all. In fact, I don't really see it at all. So I think the color is fine. It just looks a little bit darker in the pan. I like the size of this brush for powder because it's big enough, but it's not too big. Sometimes I find powder brushes hard because sometimes they're just too large. You know, you can't get all over your face with them. Okay, so this looks also really beautiful on my skin. It does not look powdery at all. I do feel like it set my face, but it left a lot of the glow behind. So it's, I don't think it's gonna be one of those powders if you have super oily skin. This is probably not gonna be enough powder for you. But it, it is literally undetectable on my skin. Like I don't see any sign of powder, but I can tell that I applied it, especially like right here in this area. That is nice. And don't let the color scare you if you're around my skin tone. It looks dark here, but it really doesn't look that way on my face. So I think it just looks dark in the pan. Okay, I'm also gonna take that powder under my eyes and set my concealer. See how it does as an under eye powder? Because I really like how it looks on my skin. And I'm using the, let's see, 113 from BK Beauty for this. All right, moving on to bronzer. Sigma sent me the matte bronzer, which I've been dying to try this for the longest time, so I cannot wait. They sent me two shades in light and medium. Yeah, I've never tried any of Sigma's bronzers or blushes or highlighters, so I can't wait to try these out. So they're in like a little compact like this. Oh. And this is the shade light, which I'm assuming is gonna be my shade. Ooh, yeah, that formula feels really nice. Ooh, that looks like a good bronzer shade for me. So I am, I'm gonna hold off on swatching the medium because I'm probably gonna give that maybe to my mom or someone else that that would work better for. I have more brushes here that I really wanna try, but I guess I won't. And we'll use another brush because I know I'm supposed to wash them. Okay, I'm gonna use this Refer 05 brush. The formula feels really, really smooth. Very buttery feeling. It's a very finely milled feeling formula. So yeah, this tone is definitely good for my skin tone. It's warm, but not too warm. If you've been watching my videos 
recently for like the last few weeks I've kind of talked about how I've been on a little bit of a bronzer journey like trying to find my absolute favorite powder bronzer I have a bunch of cream bronzers that I love but I feel like I've always kind of been on the hunt for my perfect powder bronzer I don't know I feel like those are definitely harder to find Especially if you have a lighter skin tone, you have to find one that is not too orangey, but you don't, not necessarily looking for a contour, you're looking for a bronzer, but a lot of bronzers, I don't know, just tend to be too warm sometimes. I'm going to bring some on the jawline too and down my neck. All right, let's move on to blush. Now, they did send a cream blush and a powder blush. I should probably just use the powder, but I'm not. We're gonna use the cream too because I'm very curious about this too. This is the shade Corderosa. Hopefully, this is okay on top of powder. We will see. I, I just love this cute little pink packaging here. What a pretty, perfect, rosy, pinky shade. All right, I'm gonna use the 109 brush from BK Beauty and I'm gonna kind of blot it off on the back of my hand a little since I've never used this formula. Yep, this is exactly the kind of shade that I really love. It's pink, but not, this is not like a bright pink, it's more of a mauve -y kind of rosy pink. Oh, it's pretty. So these are definitely more on the balmy side in terms of a cream blush. They have a lot of glow, but wow, that color is really nice. I love this kind of formula for a cream blush. Definitely, I would say more on the sheer side in terms of pigment, but I personally like that. I love a buildable blush formula. So you can see that shade there kind of blended out on my hand. Reminds me a little bit of the Makeup by Mario blush veils, which if you know me, you know I love those. Reminds me of that. It reminds me a little bit of the Pat McGrath blush sticks. I forget what they're called, but on my skin, that's kind of what they're reminding me of. But, all right, let's move on to the powder blush, which is the shade very love. So this one I think is a little bit darker, the shade, a little bit deeper, a little bit more of a mauve color, a berry like the name says. So that is the shade Berry Love right there next to the cream blush. Okay, I'm going to use this Flower Beauty blush brush and I'm just going to try to pick up a little bit and kind of tap it off on my hand so we don't get too, too much. I'm noticing more and more that I really love like mauve -y tones in blush especially. So this is like exactly the kind of color that I've really been liking lately. And okay, so you're not gonna be able to see a ton because we have the other blush underneath and I'm trying not to go like way, way overboard, but that color is also very pretty. And then they did send a highlighter as well. So let's try this also. This is their powder highlighter in the shade Twilight, which is a really pretty kind of an icy pink highlighter. And I really actually want to try the FO3 with this since this is actually meant for highlighter. I just happen to like it for concealer. Um, but actually, since I haven't washed that one, I have another FO3 here that I already had that's clean. So we'll use this since this is technically for highlight anyway. Yeah, this shape is also really good for highlighter. Really pretty, it looks really pretty with those blushes. This makes me wanna get back into, or more into highlighter. Highlighter is one of those products that I love to buy these things. I love to look at them, but I don't always 
take the time to apply a highlighter and most of the time it's because I don't feel like I need it because my other products are kind of glowy already but then I use something like this and I'm reminded how pretty highlighter is. Okay, I just filled in my brows. I just used um, my ABH brow powder and they did send me this. This is the Sigma Prime Control Brow Wax. I am not familiar with this product at all. So I guess it's just a wax stick. Looks like this. I'm not sure. I'm guessing I was supposed to do this first before using anything in my brows, but I thought maybe I would try just going over my brows with this just to see how this works. So I'm just kind of pressing it on. So I just kind of pressed it all over and then I'll just take a spoolie and kind of brush through them maybe. Feels very light in my brows, doesn't feel heavy at all. So we'll see if my brows stay in place. But that's an interesting product I'm not familiar with. Now let's move on to the eyes. I'm gonna use this uh, eyeshadow base. I already have one of these that I use a lot, this one in the shade Ignite. But they sent me the shade Persuade, which I think is like a light beigey pink color. So that's it there. It kind of looks like uh, MAC Painterly. It's kind of what this reminds me of. I also have Ignite, which is the one I normally use. Yeah, which is a little bit more of like a cream color. This one's Persuade right here. I figured we could use the new one in Persuade on my eyes today. So these you can wear on their own or you can obviously use them as a primer. That's usually how I use it. Just blend that in with a, a BK Beauty 205 brush. All right, for eyeshadow, we're gonna use this. They sent one of the nine pan palettes from Sigma. This is the Spicy palette. I have tried their eyeshadow formula before. I have a bunch of their larger palettes, but I've never tried the nine pan before. So these are the nine pan palettes. These come in a ton of different color stories. This one is one of the more neutral ones, which y'all know me in neutrals, I love. So I figured we can use this today. I will insert some swatches here for you if you're curious. Let's use, um, we'll use this shade first, this shade right here. This is called Trist. Looks like just a light, warm brown color. I'm just gonna apply this in the crease and kind of in this outer corner also. Sigma eyeshadow formula is really, really nice. Their mattes are really easy to apply, really easy to work with, but I've just never tried the nine pans before. Okay, let's use, there's so many pretty shimmers in here. I'm trying to decide what I wanna use. Kinda wanna use this middle shade here called Maverick. Ooh yeah, it's kind of a purple, almost taupe color. It has a lot of different colors in it that kind of change depending on how you're looking at it. It looks kind of purple, kind of pink, kind of taupe. I like to apply these kinds of shades usually with my finger. So I'm just tapping that on. That is really pretty. I'm kind of tapping this in the center and then kind of like out towards the outer corner, that's a really pretty shade. Okay, now I wanna take a little bit of this shade right here, which is a little bit of a darker brown, more of a medium shade. This is the shade Bootleg. And I'm gonna take just a little bit of this in the outer corner, very, very little, just to deepen it up a little. 
And then I'm gonna go back into the first brush that we used and just kind of blend out any edges here. I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade here called Moonshine. Oh, look at that shade. That one is really pretty. I'm gonna put this right here in this inner corner and kind of bring it up a little bit. And then let's do a little bit of liner with the dark brown down here. This one is called Mocha. I'm gonna use my 208 brush from VK Beauty to line my eyes with the shade Mocha. All right, then I'm just gonna go with a little bit of Trist. And I'm gonna apply this on the bottom lash line. Just a little, cause you know me, I don't love a lot on my bottom lash line. Okay. All right, I think that's it for shadow. I don't have a new mascara or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that quickly and then I'll be back and we'll finish up with the okay. lips. Last for lips, I do have a new lip liner from Persona. This is their lip liner in the shade Almond. They sent me this a few weeks ago so I figured we could try it. I have actually, I think I have one Persona lip liner. And I haven't used it lately, but I remember them being nice when I've used it in the past. Let's see. This is shade Almond. Just a really pretty nude. It's a really beautiful shade. Love that. Just a nice neutral nude that goes with everything. And then for the lips, Sigma did also send me one of these. This is the Renew Lip Oil. And this one is the shade All Heart, which looks like kind of a mauve nude color. Looks like this. Oh yeah, that's a pretty color. And kind of matches the blushes. All right, you guys, that is all the makeup we're gonna try today. We tried a lot of stuff. I wanna kinda go through, chat about what I think of the products based on my first impression. Let's start with the foundation. You guys, this foundation is so pretty. Where have I been? I don't know anything about this really other than this looks so pretty on my skin. Wow, this, I am really surprised by this. I mean, it looks just beautiful. Natural, a little bit glowy, but not too glowy. Good coverage, good shade match, SPF 40. I am super impressed with this. I cannot wait to keep wearing it. I'm gonna wear this all day and see how it wears, but I, was pleasantly surprised by this. Let me know if you've tried anything from this brand. The Bobbi Brown Powder, really nice. Just not a super mattifying powder though. So if you have oily skin, I would think you probably won't love that. It looks undetectable though on my face. I do not look like I powdered even though I did, but it did make a difference in this area after applying that foundation, which is a little bit on the glowy side. I definitely think it did tone down the shine right here. I will say under my eyes, I was just looking up close. It looks okay. It did not keep the concealer from creasing though. I had a little bit of creasing like right here on both eyes that I just kind of patted out with my finger. So I would say maybe more of a finishing powder, not so much a setting powder, but I do like how it looks on my skin. All right, the thing I'm probably the most excited about, other than the foundation in this whole video, is the bronzer. You guys, I think this might be 
the bronzer that I've been looking for. The color is amazing. It's not too warm. I would say it's pretty neutral. It has warmth, but not too much. But this is a really nice formula. Really, really nice matte bronzer formula. It applied beautifully on me and I'm really excited about this. I can't wait to keep using it, keep playing around using it with different things. But this really impressed me. So I am super excited about that. The blushes are beautiful. Kind of hard to differentiate between the two since I did layer them, but they both applied well and those two colors happen to look really pretty together. I really, really like the color on this cream blush in Cor de Rosa. Such a good one. I feel like this is a shade that'll go with so many different makeup looks too. So I can't wait to keep using it. And the highlighter is beautiful. The highlighter, if you look really, really close, it has a little bit of shimmer in it, but it's not, not so much shimmer that it looks like it would magnify a lot on your skin, but you can see a little bit of shimmer if you look really close, but I think it looks really pretty. The brow stick, I don't know. My brows are still in place right now, but we'll see. I'll leave updates in the comments. I have some other things to film today, so I will have this makeup on all day. So I'll see how these things wear. But my brows are still in place so far. They don't feel super set. You know how sometimes when you apply a brow wax, you can kind of feel it in your brows? I don't really feel anything in my brows, so... I don't know. That could be a good thing or a bad thing. We'll see. The eyeshadow primer I've used before. I just used a different shade. I have to say I really like this pink one though. It really reminds me of Painterly from MAC. And I've used this product many times. It works really well as an eyeshadow primer. So I'm excited to have another shade of that. Oh, the palette. Great little palette. I figured I would like this because I, I have a bunch of Sigma eyeshadow palettes and I really enjoy them. But this is nice if you want a smaller palette. I feel like this would be a great traveling palette. I'm about to leave town in a few days for Christmas. So I'm probably going to take this palette with me because I feel like you got everything you really need in here. Oh, the lip stuff. The liner is nice. Very creamy lip liner. It's not um, like a wooden liner. It's more on the creamy side. So if you like that, you would probably really like that liner from Persona. And then that lip oil, I love the color on that. The pinky kind of mauve shade in All Heart. Yeah, All Heart. It looks really pretty with that liner from Persona. Okay, so honestly, based on my first impression, most of these things I'm very impressed with. I'm probably the most excited about the bronzer and the foundation of everything. But I do have a bunch of brushes here as well that I'm gonna wash and you'll see these eventually, but they sent me a ton of fun brushes to try. So I will have everything linked for you that I used today. I do have a Sigma code, it's just Blair, that will save you a little bit of money and I believe you can stack it on top of their other sales if you ever want to use it. As always, no pressure, but it is an affiliate code that you can use if you want to. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to these brands for sending me these things, especially Sigma. Thank you so much for this stuff. I am just so grateful. I never take for granted when brands send me things and I know it's because I have all of you that watch my videos. So thank you so much because without you, I would not get to try these kinds of things. I wouldn't get these things sent to me every now and then. So thank you so, so much. I hope you'll subscribe if you have not already and follow me over on Instagram at simply.blair and TikTok simply.blair1. And I will see you next time. Remember, simply be you.